When you're roaming around on the internet, you might not notice all the traps and tricks used to breach your privacy and your personal info. The hackers of the world are getting more clever by the day, but with antivirus software like Avast, you give yourself a fighting chance. So today I'll give you an overview of what Avast is all about, whether the good or the bad, you'll definitely know whether it's something you should pick up. And if you do consider it at any point throughout the video, then check out the link in the description below to get the best deals available for Avast to get yourself started. Now, when talking about Avast, it's important to clarify that you have lots of features and maybe more than I know what to do with, but I've organized the three most important categories of features to help give you an idea of what to expect. So some of the core features include various forms of scans ranging from surface level to ones that cover the more frequently infected areas of your device like files and your downloads. And then you can gradually increase the thoroughness up to a deep scan that checks everything on your computer or a targeted scan, which allows you to choose which file or folder in particular you want to be scanned. And then there's the boot time scan, which runs before you fully boot up your computer to make sure there's no malware ahead of time. You can also regularly schedule any form of these scans to take place by setting up a custom scan. This way, you don't have to always do it manually and it keeps you updated on the state of your device. And you can also download Avast on your phone and other devices such as tablets, but we'll focus on the PC side of things. Now, you might be wondering what happens if Avast does find something fishy. In that case, it'll send it to the quarantine section and you can deal with them accordingly, whether that's by deleting the object or restoring them. Otherwise, Avast will keep it quarantined until you deal with it and will make sure your system is not harmed. Avast also wants to make sure you're up to date on any information that might be vulnerable or if you're being tracked. One of many ways it does this is scan the dark web to see if information has been leaked. It does this just by checking what breaches involve your email and then reports back to you. And you can also include other emails if you like. In terms of who's tracking you, you can activate this in the tracking prevention tab, but can get more insight if you download the web browser extension where you can see who exactly tried to get information out of you and you can further tweak your tracker settings from there. One thing I loved about this in particular is that you can hide cookies from ever showing up on websites so you never have to see one ever again. Avast knows you don't want anything to do with cookies well, unless they're from the bakery. And that covers the fundamentals of Avast and what it does, but there were some extras that I found very handy. Firstly, you get a VPN, which gives you access to about 55 countries. Helpful if you want that additional level of protection, as well as more access to different content from around the world. If you want to learn more about what a VPN is, you can check out my video on that from the description below as well. Then there's the bank mode, which allows you to just take money from any... No, I'm just kidding. Uh, the bank mode allows you to enter a browser that is encrypted and locked down by Avast so that you can check any banking information without worrying about someone tracking you or feeling vulnerable. It's not only intended for banking, it's essentially an incognito tab, but one that actually does keep yourself hidden much better than Google or Chrome does. If you use a VPN in tandem with this, you're more or less invisible because you're scrambling your IP and that makes you incredibly safe. I personally use this so I can vouch for it. The last tier of useful tools is located in the performance section. What this does is optimize your computer's performance by updating any app and software or by cleaning up any clutter that may be holding you back. Now, there's plenty more features that you can explore and tweak to your liking, but what is it like to install the app and use it? Well, all it takes is for you to log into your account and then the first thing you'll see is a download option. Then after a minute or so, it'll set up and you'll be greeted with the user interface. The first tab is going to show you whether your system is safe. You can't miss it because it'll be at the top of the screen. Then the rest of what you see here are suggestions of things you can scan, update or declutter. It's a nice heads up to keep you aware of what you should be taking care of in terms of your system. However, beyond that, it can be a bit confusing to know where to start because once you go to the explore section, you're hit with all these features that aren't all features, rather some feel like they belong in the settings section. Avast did try to streamline it with these collapsible menus, but personally, I think it's still a bit too cluttered and could itself use a cleanup. Still, I do appreciate the visuals displaying my system health instead of having to do a scan and read things all the time. And it's clear to me that Avast has plenty of suggestions and ways you could improve your security, but whether it's the app or browser extension, there can be a bit too much information at times and it's a little overwhelming. I got the hang of it eventually, 
but I figured you should know that. Right now, so we've talked about the features, let's dig into the pricing and plans. So with a free plan, you can do basic functions such as block viruses, ransomware and malware, monitor apps for any suspicious activity, and block intruders with advanced firewalls. It's a decent antivirus software as a start, but there are too many ads that pop up and it's just awfully distracting. So if I were to recommend any of these based on the features and budgeting, I'd suggest the one I'm currently using, the gold plan. I found it has everything I need and its selection of features do more than I even needed to protect me. It's a sweet spot that I think would suit most people. And what's more, Avast provides a 30 day money back period so you can try it out to see for yourself. And also with the paid plans, you don't get any of the ads popping up so you can resolve that issue real quick. Now, if you ever need help with anything, then you can use their forums, which is a bit of a throwback to the 2000s or their support center, which covers pretty much everything you'd really need. If that's not enough, then you can directly call them at their toll free number. What's more, even if you have problems with products that aren't Avast related, such as router issues, software setup, and even something as simple as creating an email, you can reach out to them and they will help you. So I definitely wanted to say that they have the most flexible and varied support system from my experience. So it's certainly something I wanted to shout out. Moreover, let's talk about how safe Avast is because their history with user privacy has been rocky, especially due to past controversies. Now, they have been around for a while since 1988 under a previous name as Alwell Software, and then it later became known as Avast Software. And since then, they faced criticism for collecting and selling user data through their free antivirus software. This included details about users' online activities like browsing history and search queries. In response to this, Avast made changes like shutting down their subsidiary responsible for data collection and improving transparency. However, people are still a bit concerned about the extent of data collection and user consent. As we've discussed, Avast offers security features like antivirus protection, firewall, secure browsing, and privacy tools to protect you and your data. And while these measures do help, you should still review the privacy settings and understand the trade-offs between privacy and functionality when using Avast's products. But now let's take a look at how Avast compares to some other antivirus providers like Norton and Bitdefender. So Bitdefender gets props for its web protection and anti-malware features all wrapped up in a pretty easy to use package. It's great at keeping your devices safe from all sorts of threats and even comes with ransomware protection. However, the price is known to be a little high, which some folks might find a bit steep. And they also have a free VPN, but it might struggle with some streaming sites. Now, Norton LifeLock brings something unique to the table with its insurance policy that covers you if your identity gets swiped. It's like having a safety net for legal fees, personal expenses, and stolen cash. Plus, they throw in perks like dark web monitoring and stolen wallet protection. Just remember though, Norton LifeLock is only available in the US and their products are sold separately, which might not be everyone's cup of tea. Then we have our lovely Avast, who has all kinds of features that protect you from viruses and malware by using firewalls and secure browsing, just to name a few. They're also always updating to fend off new threats and work smoothly on different devices. Plus, if you ever need help, their customer support is S tier. But I do understand that some of you might still be a bit wary because of past privacy issues, and it also could slow down older devices a bit. However, Avast has made big strides in fixing their mistakes, so most of that has been resolved in recent years. Now, one thing I would like is if they could work on their interface. I do appreciate the amount of features, but I feel like a lot of them could just be sent to the settings section. It could definitely clean things up. Though, if you want a balance between features and a solid deal for your wallet, I'd certainly recommend Avast. Just don't forget to make sure you're okay with their terms of service and privacy policy. I mean, honestly, this is something you should do with anything you're buying, but just keep it in mind. And with that, we wrap up today's video. I hope you guys found it informative and it helped you determine whether Avast is up your alley. If so, don't forget to take advantage of the deals for Avast in the link from the description below. If you have any further questions, you can ask in the comments section and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But while you're on your way down there, consider subscribing and liking the video to help the channel out and to get updated on any new deals we have for you. At any rate though, thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.